this project is the most exciting piece of work I've ever done. I'm going after my musical ambition. It's what I want to do. I've released albums before with other groups and other bands and with what we've been able to pull together here is definitely the strongest material I think I've ever worked on. If something's important enough to you, we make time. I've been lucky um, to pull together players and writers that I've always wanted to work with. This is the album I've always wanted to make. Now I've made it and here it is. I'm Ben and uh, I sing. The name is Evil. I um, play guitar and um, yeah, you know, do the best I can. We met here at the St. Rock Studios. Um, we ended up doing a lot of shows together here in Sydney. So breaking up with my last band and then um, I was oh. quiet. Yeah. <laughs> Back in 2017, uh, we released our album. We were, you know, the album got out there and then and a bloke by the name of Danny Saber got his hands on it. You want the true story or the abridged? I got involved in this project um, through a mutual friend and I met I met young Benjamin and he told me he had a band and he sent me some music and we sort of took it from there. Yeah, we were obviously interested in him because you go through his resume, he's worked with Ozzy, Alice. You know, I produced a band called Black Grape, got hooked up with Sean Ryder. We went off and made this record called It's Great When You're Straight Yeah. It was a number one record. You know, the Rolling Stones and David Bowie and you 2 were all fans of the record. And uh, Michael Hutchins. But Michael was, a, he was instrumental in putting me on, so to speak. You'd be crazy not to take his call. And took his call. Yeah, in a, in a weird way, we sort of clicked. I mean, we're two different people, but we seem to have a common love of music. And Danny invited you know, me and uh, out to LA, and yeah, it went from there. I actually asked him, why did you spend all this time with me? And when I met Benson, we sort of struck up a bit of a, you know, friendship. He was, you know, so sincere in his quest. You know, like, making a record is sort of like, it's like the search for the Holy Grail, you know? It's, it's a quest. And uh, I wanted to go on the quest with it. I think he was also attracted to the, the voice, the like, uniqueness in, in Ben's voice. You know, you hear a lot of good singers and they're great, but you don't know who it is. There's nothing kind of that stands out that makes them unique. And um, I think Ben's got that. I think Danny's kind of like, you know, this is something I want to work with, I can make work. and. The whole process, Ben let me in on what's going on and what they're doing and he'd be asking me for, you know, my opinion. And Evil was amazing support for me and just gave me the confidence to go after this. Um, we can't underestimate his contribution because it really did elevate the whole project. I think that was the sort of secret sauce in all of it, you know? Hey, two songs is going to turn into, now it's 11 songs and it's an album. We had a nice balance of being in the room together and then going away and then throwing stuff back and forth across the water and then coming back and reconvening. The majority of the tracking was done here at St. Rock Studios. Um, there's so many different people that walk in, walk through the door and, and you know, there's different without sets paying. of... Without paying. Without paying. Well, we, luckily, we had the luxury of Ben coming to LA, what, three times? First thing we did when we got into town was we got a hamburger, actually. So we stayed in, in the valley at a wonderful place called the Sugo City Courtyard Hotel. We crack on with Danny, basically, from the next day, mm -hmm. and, and we did it in, in two-week blocks. And, and yeah, look, at his studio, he's got to set up the whole box and dice, and definitely there, adding to things at the end where he's got the keys and it was putting finishing touches on things so much he's putting sprinkle that dust it's like the old an analogy of going in the hairdresser it's they come up with a picture of pamela anderson and it's like yeah but you know you're brunette and you're you know five foot two and you got thighs like you know a friggin linebacker you're not going to look like that but here's a style that will complement your particular physique so producing music is similar in the sense where you have to build this, the track around the vocals and what's going to organically complement and work within that, within the integrity of whatever it is the artist is wanting or trying to be. It's, it's a big journey. It's um, it, it is a journey. It's ups and downs and um. Get the fuck out! Oh, yeah? 
it's positive. It's positive. Yeah, it's so fast. It's really positive. yeah look, there's a good balance of tunes. You know, I think we've ended up with a really good record. There's nothing too cryptic about mm. what we're doing. We're just writing tunes that we like and singing about stuff that we like. The 70s modern mm. rock infused with a taste of industrial dance undertones. Now, all you kids out there get to hear it. You'll get to find check it, it out. Check it out, and whether you like it or whether you like it a lot, because um, they're the only two responses we're really going to say. We're gonna, and it comes with the extra spin. For us. Yeah, exactly right. The twist of lemon just to make it a little bit better. But it'll be out there for everyone to hear. And first fifty get free studio time at Evil Studio. It's just been announced then. I think that's fair. I'm a rebel Does that answer your fucking question? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>